I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition flow inside my DNA. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Sean B. Nice back again with some more heat rock and today I am doing a video and this video is mainly being done due to a subscriber. Uh, we was going back and forth in the, you know, in like the little comments box and we was having a conversation about which one he preferred and this was in regards to my last video, Android message versus iMessage. And he was saying that, you know, Android messages, you know, will maybe catch on one day. But what I wanted, he was saying that Samsung already has, right? But I, I think we got the two confused. I was saying what I wanted from Android as, and as a whole, I wanted them to be more connected. Like as in every Android device I text, I get re-receipts and I'm able to send large files just like I can with iMessage. not dependent on which carrier that I'm currently with. But, but with that being said, that sparked a curiosity in me. I'm personally a Samsung Flow user um, due to the fact that you're gonna lock your PC with Samsung Flow and uh, I transfer a lot of data using Samsung Flow as far as like the files like the videos I upload and stuff like that and with Sam inside sync I'm sure you can do the same thing I've researched this app because I'm like very curious so today before we get started I do want to give another like a huge shout out to Bankhead One if I you know I don't remember if I said it or not but again shout out to Bankhead One he's the reason why I'm creating this video so today's video is Samsung Flow versus Samsung Side Sync. And just for like a little reference, um, the last time Samsung, Samsung Flow was updated was December 15th of 2017. And the last time Sam, Side Sync, it's Samsung, that's a lot of S's going on. Last time Side Sync was updated was what, last week? So January 15th, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, maybe maybe Samsung gives more care to Samsung, I mean, to Side Sync and maybe less care to Samsung Flow. I do know that there's a ratings difference between the two. Um, so, but we're about to dive in now and see which one's better. And I would definitely let you guys know if you have a Samsung device, which one you should be using. So, stay tuned. Yeah, or in the words of my, in the words of my boy Easy e you know what I'm saying? Easy Computer Solutions, uh, get your popcorn ready. Let's get into it though, for real. All right, y'all, getting into it. Uh, again, this is my first time actually doing a recording like this while I'm using like the webcam. I am using OBS Studio. If you guys are curious, I'll make sure I'll link that down below. Just from any of my aspiring YouTubers. Um, but yeah, this is my first time doing a whole screen recording thing. So if things go haywire, this is the first one. So bear with me, you know what I mean? Don't don't judge me too crucial. Um, your boy looking kind of rough, so you're gonna see the hat, you know what I'm saying? Black on, no, you know what I'm saying? We out here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So I got the first web page open, which is gonna be Samsung Side Sync, right? So we just I'm I got Samsung Side Sync open on the browser page. I also have Samsung Flow open on the you know on the other tab. So we can look at them both so you guys can see for yourselves, you know what I'm saying, what's good with it, and if it's something that you're gonna be interested in, regard, you know, even after you watch this video, you may choose something else. Okay. So Sam uh Samsung Side Sync, here you have the page, whatever you see it. Um, you get to synchronize your PC and your smart device, obviously transfer media devices, I mean media devices, media files, keyboard and mouse sharing mode. You can like, you know, select things on your phone using a mouse. And you got the phone screen sharing mode. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Samsung Flow does not have that, but to double check, let's go there now, okay? So with Samsung Flow, you enjoy the seamless experience between Samsung smartphone and Tab Pro as PC, or just a Windows PC. You don't have to have a Samsung Tab Pro, so obviously this page hasn't been updated in a while. Um, you can log in with your fingerprint. You can enable mobile hotspot on your phone, um, sync notifications between your, your, your Galaxy smartphone, and what else? That's about it. So, and these are just the requirement that you at least need to have to actually use that. So, let's go first. The first one we're gonna do is Samsung Side Sync, right? So, obviously, you get you have to download the Samsung Side Sync app to your phone, which is you know not much or whatever. Excuse me, I, I literally just digged through my nose on camera. But hey, we real out here. I don't know these other YouTubers don't do that. I keep everything a buck with y'all. <laughs> my nose is doing recordings. So anyway. Here you see Samsung seat down on the side, and if we wanted to, we could bring up the phone screen. Let's bring that up now. Okay, and here, now, now, now I'm, a, I'm gonna say this. This is pretty cool. Um, now, in regards to Apple though, like, I don't know, this may be up to you. This may be a preference thing. Some people may prefer the way Apple does it, because you know, on, on Apple, I don't believe they have this type of option. If they do, don't 
kill me in the comment section. Just let me know, hey, Sean, you're mistaken. They do have something similar to this on Apple. Fine, but if, as of right now, I'm not aware of that Apple has anything similar to this. So this is pretty cool that you can, you know, browse to your stuff. So maybe if you wanna open up, if I wanna open up YouTube Studio, um, I can do that. Look at some of the comments as you guys can see. And, and it works pretty fast. I give them that, like it's actually pretty cool. You know what I'm saying, 992. We need eight more for the 1K. We Okay, anyway, so you got that, and you again, you pretty much can control your phone even if it's not bad, you, as, long you, as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. Um, what else you got? So let's send, I wanna send myself a message, right? And we're gonna see how easy it is to respond to it. So I'm gonna send Sean's Note 8. I'm gonna send it from this crap phone, iPhone 10. I ain't gonna do that, it ain't been that bad. So we're just gonna put uh, poop. Send poop, and I got it. Sean's iPhone. And as you guys saw down here in the corner, there was also like a little box you could look at. So but if I wanna to respond to the message, it's easier now I can say, um, what's good? Maybe you could change down the options. I hate the fact that you can't just hit the enter key to hit send. Um, so we're gonna hit send with the mouse. Boom, boom, right? Now, let's close out of the actual phone screen, right? Let's just close out of that. And let's send it the normal way. Uh, nothing much sitting here talking to myself, like having a legit whole conversation though. So down here in the bottom right hand corner, we should see it pop up again, I'm hoping anyway. So no, no notifications received yet, let's try again, cause it didn't pop up, let's try one more time. Okay, uh, here you can hit the message, and let's see if you hit uh, good, let's see if you hit enter, it'll work this time. And it does, so you can hit the enter key to do it that way. Now I'm curious, it said voice call. I'm, I'm gonna see if you could actually call, if I can call myself from here using like the PC mic and stuff like that, where it would actually be this mic. So let's, let's give it a try, I'm gonna hit voice call. So it actually, I'm gonna block the number, but it actually brings up, you know, your phone. Um, which is pretty dumb. Okay, let me answer the call. Let's try answering the call. Let's see if it still works. Testing, testing. Work, testing no, testing. okay. No. Nope. So okay. I have a mic connected to my shirt. To my shirt. I want to see if the mic is actually, the mic if the phone is actually using this mic instead of the phone. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna snap. So yeah, actually, fun fact. Even though you you place the call with your phone, your note phone, you're actually using a mic that's either on your PC or the connected mic that you, you know, like me, have attached to my shirt. So that's pretty cool. I'm not mad at that at all. So next thing I wanted to check was how fast it is to transfer media. So let's do that. So you could drag and drop. So let me go to my videos. Okay, YouTube vids. Hopefully I got something small in here. Let's try to, smile. Let's try to find a, a very small one. Okay, here. This is only 403 megabytes, nine times 10 is a 4K one. So let's go ahead and drop it here and see how long it takes. It's off, okay. I should have recorded it, my bad. I should have definitely used a stopwatch, but I feel like Samsung Flow, like just from personal experience low key, I feel like Samsung Flow from the blow that out of the water. Cause this is like, like to me, it's taking like a little bit of a long time. And I and I think it's because technically it's not using Wi-Fi Direct. And from what I've noticed, I think Wi-Fi Direct is like putting your phone on crack or something like that, because it uploads stuff super, super fast, okay? So, Samsung Sync. So far from what we noticed, you can access your phone, your actual whole screen. You can send messages, you can make phone calls. So, so far, I'm not gonna lie to you, you have Samsung Flow B if that's what you're looking for as an, you know, as an entirety. So let's go ahead and actually close out Samsung Sync and we're gonna start up Samsung Flow. So let's disconnect. All right, and let's go to, again, Samsung Sync or Samsung Flow on the phone. All right, so it's open right now. As you can see, it's disconnected. So I'm gonna pull up. I have it like on my little shortcut here and open this up and it's gonna verify. Now I'm not gonna, again, just take my word for it. You can't open up the phone, I mean open up your laptop with you know your biometrics and they take you straight to it. It's just, I don't know how that's gonna work with OBS Studio if it's still gonna record while I'm doing this. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Just jump straight to the chase. Now here, you still get notifications. Um, again, so let's see. And you also have mobile hotspot, but we're gonna do the notifications first. Put that, and it should pop up in the right hand bottom corner. Yeah, the notifications are not popping up. So let's see, do I have quiet mode on? 
I do have quiet hours on, so let's turn that off. Let's try that again. Make sure you have Do Not Disturb off on your PC before, you know, because Samsung Flow is direct, that, you know what I'm saying, directly integrated with that. So here you go. Oh, G Herbal, what up? <laughs> so Herb, now, as you see, you can still get notifications. So let's put, I don't know, hit enter. Okay, again, you can hit enter. Oh, that's so stupid. Hit send, and there you go. Now, can you take phone calls? I'm gonna call myself again. Okay, so you do get the phone calls. You still get phone calls, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna answer. Actually, you know what? You cannot answer this phone call. All right, so fun fact, Samsung Flow, it will let you know when you have a phone call, but it will not let you answer that phone call. So Samsung Sync already has a one up. Now, the most important things that we wanted to check out was how fast it is to actually transfer media. So this will kind of let you know which app you want to have open and what, you know what I'm saying, at any given time. But before we do that, let's also check the fact that you can actually enable hotspot on your phone and it will automatically like connect it to your PC. So if you're out and you don't have like a good Wi-Fi, you trust your phone, you know, mobile data, you just go ahead and hit this button and it'll take you right directly to your phone's, um, directly to your phone's mobile hotspot. But we're gonna transfer a media file, the same file we did, and I, I guarantee you almost, it's gonna go way faster than it did from the, the first one we did. So let's go back and find that same file. If this, no, that's not it. And that's not it. Here we go right here, 403 megabytes. Open that. And let's watch how fast this goes. It's gonna connect. Now, I didn't even have to time this. This is way faster than Samsung side sync. Uh, you can even notice the bar. Um, that That's a clear, again, that's, close to 500 megabytes, you know what I'm saying? So half a gig and I'm already done. So with that being said, um, just from that alone for what I do, Samsung, I would still be using Samsung Flow. Uh, I may have Samsung SaaSync open too if I wanted to like open my phone entirely or answer phone calls, don't get me wrong. Um, Bankhead one, you definitely just put me on. I was sleeping, SaaSync is like heat rock. I give it that. Um, again, it's just like the, the media transfers, like what I do, I need, fast, you know what I'm saying? Like Samsung side scene, it just wasn't fast enough. Samsung Flow, you guys can see like, that was damn near instant. So yeah, man, um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, you know, which one do you think you would probably be using the most, you know, because honestly, it's, it's really gonna be based off preference, right? Like you may end up using side scene because you wanna see your whole phone. You may end up using Samsung Flow if you're in a rush to go somewhere and you need to file off your computer, I would definitely recommend it. So just kind of put things in a nutshell, um, actually, let's switch views. All right, so as we just saw, Samsung SaaSync is like, it's, it's fire, it's heat, right? Just not as fast as Samsung Flow, but you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You know what I'm saying like, you know, which one would you primarily be using? I, like again, like I said before, like I said earlier, I would still be using Samsung Flow just for the super fast transfer speeds. And um, I'm just used to it by now, you know what I mean? But I did like Samsung SaaSync, I would definitely keep that on my phone. It's, it's heat rock. So if I actually had to give a winner to one of them, it's, I think it's based off what you need, but just from a functionality standpoint, I'm probably gonna go with Samsung side sync due to the fact you can actually answer the phone and you can actually see your whole phone like on your laptop. You cannot do that with Samsung Flow. So with that being said, man, thank y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? This is our first little intimate experience with the whole screen record and whatnot. I appreciate y'all love and support. Um, I need to be a 1K by this weekend, y'all. I need y'all to share my biz, help your boy y'all before YouTube, you know what I'm saying, cut the lines on my whole giveaway funding and all that for y'all, man, help me, like for real. But if we do get to that 1K this weekend, best believe we popping a bottle live stream. For real, for real. I will be getting lit, as the young people would say, or uh, as my older heads would say, I will be having a little drink. You know what I'm saying, for the live stream. We'll, we, you know what I'm saying, we will be celebrating that 1K, like for real, for real, man. Boy, Sean, be nice, man. I'm out. Deuces.